Don't want to spend an arm and leg for a Go XLR or Go XR Mini? I may have a solution for you. Now, I don't want to go ahead and say that this is a better option than the Go XLR, but it will definitely do the job for a lot less money. As of recording, the PC Panel Pro is $90 and the PC Panel Mini is $60. It comes with a wide range of customizable features. To get started, all you get from the box is the PCB panel and the cable. From there, you install the software for the device to function. The program already has a tons of features available, ability to customize numerous profiles, and limitless possibilities on how you wish to use it. I personally will be using it for every stream I do, which if you didn't know, I stream every Monday, Friday, and Saturday. My username is right there below. Um, so come hang out and chat with me sometime. Each button and knob has its own function and can be set individually. Just click on the knob on the program and you get the pop-up that allows you to change both press functions and dial options for that knob. For instance, you can press your, your button to play or pause your music while using that same button to turn up and down the volume. Now, if you have a stream deck like I do, this will allow you to adjust your Spotify volume while having it in offline mode. My wife and I actually share a Spotify account, and I, don't, I can't tell you the amount of time she starts listening to music when I want to uh, listen to music on stream. And I can't adjust it because in order to use the stream deck, Spotify has to be online. So this is a good way to do that if for some reason you share an account or if someone else is listening to music in another room. You can also use the knobs to toggle on and off audio sources in OBS while also being able to turn them up and down individually. This really helps like if the game volume is really loud and you want to adjust it, you can just turn the knob and adjust it down for your viewers live on demand. You don't have to hit a button and wait for it to sync. You can really adjust it to the volume that works for you. There are honestly too many features and function combinations you could do with this and it would take another 10 minutes to go over each one thoroughly. It even includes an option to work with voice meter as well. Now it comes to the true gamer portion, the RGBs. The lights on the PC panel can be customized for each profile. You can have numerous profiles and each profile has its own RGB layout. The customizations range from pulsing to pretty much any combination you can think of. You can set individual colors for each knob as well as change how they function while being pressed and whatnot. There are a good range of options and the colors are vibrant and appealing while also having the ability to be dimmed if the brightness is too bright. Overall, I believe this device is perfect for the small streamer or someone who would like to adjust their volumes without having to spend about $200 at least for the Go XLR Mini. Plus, the size and the form factor of the PC Panel Mini is perfect to sit on your desk or on top of your PC if you choose to do so uh, without it having to take a lot of room. Made it to the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. Um, if you have any other questions about the PC panel and would like to like to let me know, uh, right now they're currently doing pre-orders through the end of May because it's in early production. Uh, and then so like I pre-ordered mine back in March and I actually just got it today as of March. Uh, just got it today as of May 6th. I just got it. So they're putting them out in batches. So hopefully you get yours soon. All right. Catch you guys in the next video. Adios.